Okay, we're back on Star Maid and Adam is in a Shreky mood. No, literally. Yes. I'm in maximum auger drive. Please don't. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. He's been reading one too many green text stories and this is how it's ended up. You can never have too much Shrek. Shrek wants you to be with him, Kyle. I don't want to. You know you don't want to. So take your green text adventures somewhere else. But Kyle, it's Shrektacular. Okay. But anyway, what I'm building on <laughs> onto my uh, ship that you may have seen in the previous episodes is a uh, shuttle bay because I thought we could do some planetary excursions. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that sounds good. Um, but first, I think we need to check out what the gr the Jimmy Rustler did when we left him on the server. All oh, right. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed one um, sphere over here in the sense of Star Trek, i.e. not actually in the shape of a sphere, but some for some reason called a sphere. Oh, it's drifting away, whatever it is. Yeah, I accidentally nudged it. The Borg Rustler. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I think he must have cannibalized your ship. What do you mean? I mean can you see the, the damage done to it? There's a, there's a bunch of holes in your ship. Oh, right, where? Oh, here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah over here, yeah. And then there was also that big gaping hole on the bottom that... Uh, oh, no, I was doing that. No, 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 but it was already like that, though, wasn't it? Hmm. I just modified it. Oh god, did I just send the Russell Sphere off into space? Yeah, don't worry. Oh, oh it's still I'm is sure there. I'm sure it won't drift off and adapt into anything sinister and more evil and more gigantic. Oh no, I hope that doesn't happen, Kyle. Hopefully that, that won't that certainly wouldn't be entertaining, would it? <laughs> I'll be fine. We'll be fine, don't worry. <laughs> We're anything but fine. Don't you know what the Borg can do, Kyle? Not only, you know, what the regular Borg can do. Imagine what a Jimmy Borg could do. A Jimmy Borg? Let's, let's not even think about it. Yeah, let's, let's just try and... Try and build this spaceship as best I can. Uh, I think... I think we do need to investigate what he's he's done. All right. So you want to come over to the to the Russell sphere? Let's have a look what he's done. Okay, let's have a look. It's out of a butcher's eight. So. Okay. Oh god. Are those missile pods? Yeah, there's a missile computer and there's a there's four missile arrays. Oh god, that's deadly. Um where's the, the ship core? Oh god. I don't know how I get into this thing. Ah, I, don't, I think this one's come to, come to bite him in the backside because clearly there's no way into this one. I managed to get into the, the missile computer. Oh right, can you do that? Yeah, apparently, but it won't let you do anything in particular. Huh. Does he have any thrusters? Yeah, it looks like there is a few. Are they wired up properly? Because I was trying to get it to fly and it's not moving. Hmm. Ah, here's the ship core. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's the power, actually. No, not the ship core. Uh, 
Ah, here's the ship core. There we go. Oh no! The Russell Sphere is alive! Why are you even driving it? You, who knows what kind of stuff is in there? Oh god, it's trying to assimilate me. Oh no! Kyle, it's firing off its weapons! Ah! Oh no! Do you get do you get limited missiles? Yeah, I think they are unlimited. Oh wait, I could have gone one square out. Do you do you think he tested out um, the missile computer by shooting a hole in your ship? It's a possibility, but I've got very strong shields, so I don't understand how he'd be able to. He could have deactivated them. As far as I know, there is no way of deactivating them. Well, I mean, he could have climbed on your ship and disconnected them. That would take ages. I have so many shield blocks on here. Really? How he'd be able to put them back in the same place. Uh. Well, I mean, he could have, he could have taken your um, ship core out, couldn't he? No, you can't do that either. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well. I'm probably going to have to um, rework this cockpit and everything again as well. Yeah. I mean, That's alright. We're going to have to do a bunch of, of, of rebuilding because uh, my, my ship is pretty much nothing at the moment. I, I'm, I'm just going to take all the, the rustler's stuff. What, again? <laughs> you do realise how mad that could make him. He could shift into maximum over-rustle. <laughs> you can't over-rustle, Kyle. Oh, you can. I've seen it at least three times. <laughs> oh, you dear. But, but, but Kyle, they're, they're, they're gluten-free. You've been eating them, haven't you? I can't help it, Kyle. They're just so, they're just so tempting. Actually, f fun fact, uh, Gorilla Munch is no longer officially avail available in the UK. Um, this is from the Gorilla Munch website. They released a statement saying that uh, the packaging, the design made adults think that the product was uh, down market and the gorilla scared children. <laughs> well, I have to agree there. We've had quite a run in with him, haven't we? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I think their mistake was giving him internet access. Um, but yeah, no, they've changed it to. A smiling hedgehog. Well, really? Yeah. But <laughs> so it's not even Gorilla Munch anymore. <laughs> it's just called Munch. You want to get a Munch? Oh, let's go get some Munch, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it really peeves me when I hear people saying that. What? Getting some Munch? Yeah, it's... Uh... It's just one of the phrases that pisses me off. It, it's on a level with swag for me. Oh, you mean you were um, referring to the very first time we met at the um, <laughs> <laughs> when um, we were in we were coming to meet you at Charing Cross Station in London, and um, there was some homeless guy um, just kind of loafing around in the underground. And I was with Tom, and yeah, and he was like, "Oh, you got any change? You got any change?" And then, and then we ignored him, and he was like, "Oi, come back here!" And I just yelled, "I'm <laughs> sorry, I've got too much swag," and legged it. <laughs> and because of that, we couldn't go back down that way. And we just saw him as we were going past over that underpass, and I just. Shouted, swag! 
Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. That's better. <laughs> 